Hello gorgeous, welcome to the Soul Led Millionaire podcast. In this show, I will teach you how to manifest the life of your dreams and become a soul led millionaire yourself. We will go deep on all things money, mindset, manifestation, self-love, spirituality, and more. I can't wait to bring you this content. So sit back, relax, listen in, and let's get into today's episode. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome to another episode of The Soul Led Millionaire. So it's been a couple of weeks since our last episode, and it's because I've been really busy. There's no other way to explain it. I've been very busy with the 21 day challenge that I was doing in money mindset school and also with a new project that I'm working on, which is partly why I want to talk about this particular topic today. And that is about leading your business from intuition and from inspiration. And it's quite a powerful way to run your business and run your life But it can also be quite scary because when you're relying on the unseen, when you're relying on your intuitive nudges, you never know when it's going to come through. So it's kind of hard to plan for anything, right? I want to talk about that today and yeah, let's get into it. So leading business from intuition, what do I mean? Well, for example, I've talked a lot about taking inspired action. I've talked about how when you live in the end state, when you become the person that you want to be, that you desire to be, who has the things, the life, all of the desires that you want, life starts coming to you. You start becoming a magnet to life, right? And so in my business in particular, when I have had inspiration come through for particular products or particular programs, they have always been the most popular ones. They have always taken off. Like, for example, way back in the beginning, before I was even following intuition actively, <laughs> I created an ebook that was completely inspired. It came out of nowhere. The idea for it came out of nowhere. And I created it, not really thinking anything of it, not expecting it to, to be a hit or anything. But I created this ebook. I sold it for seven dollars behind a subscription wall as in people had to opt into my email list to be able to buy it and it sold like crazy just from that so then when I made it public when I made it available to everyone they didn't have to subscribe and they increased the price naturally I thought that it was going to sell less but it wound up selling significantly more and it became a massively popular product in fact I dominated the industry about it for a while (laughs) and that was not at all intentional. That was completely inspired. I wasn't even trying to make it popular or make this product that was going to like disrupt the industry or whatever, but it did. It did. And it came from inspiration. It came from intuition. It came because I was led. And now how I run my business is very much from that place. I very much lean on my intuition, my inner guidance, my desire. Uh, I let myself be soul led. I mean, this is the soul led millionaire, right? And the reason I did that and decided deliberately to do that was because I burnt out so hard in 2021, early 2021. I burnt out so hard and it took so long to recover from that. And I realized that I was just not doing work in the way that was helpful to me. And that if I wanted to continue the way that I was going, I was going to get really, really sick eventually. And I just was, I didn't want to do that. I'd burnt out so much before, but I'd never burnt out this significantly. And so I really had to take time off. I really had to reset and reassess what I wanted to do and how I wanted to show up in my business, how I wanted to lead my business. And so I very much went into an inspiration, intuition only kind of business model, I guess you could say, meaning that I would only make moves if I was truly inspired to do it. If it truly felt like something that was soul led that came to me or came from my soul. Through that, what I have learned is that when I do receive inspiration, when an idea comes through 
and it feels like a full body yes, I have to act on it, right? And the, the really cool thing is that the energy and the time will come through and will be available for it as well. So I have a window of opportunity to act on this inspiration and intuition that's coming through for my business. It happens in, in life as well. But for the sake of the episode, this is what we're talking about. And the reason it all comes through sort of in a, a bulk load is because my inspiration has an expiry date, right? It has an expiry date. It doesn't last forever. So when I receive an idea and it feels like that full body yes, I must act on it because eventually the inspiration for it will run out. And so when I do act on it, time where there wasn't any becomes available, energy where I didn't have any becomes available, and ideas where they weren't coming through are now available. And so all I have to do is sit down and begin the project, begin doing it. And that's what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks with this project that's come to me out of nowhere. I hadn't planned it at all, but it's come out, come to me out of nowhere and I am so excited about it. It is going to change your freaking life and you're going to love it. <laughs> and it's something completely different than anything I've ever done before. It's going to enable you to create a massively abundant life in every area, every area. Okay. That's all I'll say on it for now, but get ready for that because I'll be sharing about that in a couple of weeks. But anyway, knowing that my inspiration has an expiry date, I know that I must act. And so, like I said, the energy and the time and the space comes through for it. And it reminds me so much of one of the stories that Elizabeth Gilbert tells in Big Magic, where she talks about how ideas have a shelf life and how ideas want to be made manifest through you. They literally have their own little desires and they want to be made manifest through you. And that's why they come to you and they're sort of like knocking on the door of your subconscious and conscious and like, hey, come on, let's let's get going. But if you don't act on it or you're not available to, then they will move on to someone else. And she told the story about how she had an idea for a book and it was like a really specific plot line and something happened in her life and she couldn't return to it. And then finally, after all this stuff happened, must have been like a year or so later, she came back to write the book and nothing was coming through. She, like she had no inspiration, no ideas, like it, she was just drawing a blank. And then she happened to go to this book conference or some kind of event and she met this woman who was writing a book. She was also an author. And they sat down for coffee and she was like, tell me about your book. And the book was the exact same book that Elizabeth was writing like a year or so earlier. And she said, it came to me just out of nowhere. And the interesting thing was it came to her at this, around the same time that Elizabeth let the story go. And it's the same for my inspiration. It does have a shelf life. It does have an expiry date. So I know I have to act on it. So what does that mean? Like, what does that look like? Do I have to suddenly drop everything? No. What it means is that I have laid the foundation for my business to enable space for things like this. What I mean is I have simplified my business so much that I have a lot of space in it to do creative things. And I wanted a business like that. I wanted a highly simplified business. And this is why I constantly talk about this because I wanted space for truly soul led things to come to me. And so because I have created a simplified business model and I don't actually have to do much to run my business, I don't have to spend a whole lot of time on my business. I have so much space for new ideas to come in. Now they're not like flying in every five minutes. They are spaced out well in order to give me a lot of breathing space, in order to give me a lot of room to recharge because I am a human design projector. And if you understand what that is, you will know that I need a lot of rest. <laughs> so I have a lot of space. With that foundation, it means that when an idea comes through, I have the time and the energy because it becomes available to invest into it. So when an idea comes through and it feels like a full body yes, I take action. And it's not like I'm taking forced action. I am taking 100% inspired action. And the reason it's inspired is because it came out of nowhere. What I want to say is if you are wanting to learn to lead your business through intuition, lead a more soul-led business, I want you to look at it like this because it really ties in the whole manifestation aspect of it too. When I remain in the state of fulfillment, right? I live in the end. I permanently live in the end state of having it all, of who I want to be. 
being the ultimate version of myself in every area of my life where I have it all. And for me, that state is fulfillment. When I live in that state permanently, that's when the inspiration comes through. Right? It doesn't come through when I'm panicking. Not that I panic. <laughs> it doesn't come through when I'm feeling stressed. It comes through when I'm fulfilled. It comes through when I'm relaxed. If you want to have a go at doing this yourself and learning to lead your business through intuition and your intuitive nudges, I want you to start really getting serious about living in the end, right? Not just the end of having whatever specific desire you want right now. I mean living in the ultimate end of who you want to be as a person, how you want to live your life. Yes, you have it all. You can make that a state is where you have it all. But who do you want to be? The ultimate end state. That is where you need to go. And you have to get really good at being there and living there and becoming it so much that your subconscious mind accepts that that is who you are now. That's your identity. And through there, that's where these really high level inspired ideas will come through. I can't tell you if they're going to be like massive bestsellers or your popular products or whatever. But if it's coming through you, it's meant to be made manifest through you. So go ahead and do it. Invest your time into it. Try it. See what happens. It will take you on a journey to a place you didn't even know you wanted to go. It will bring you to people you had no idea you were going to meet. It will give you opportunities that were never available to you before. So give it a go. Learn to listen to your intuition. Become the highest version of yourself and see what happens. Okay, lovely. Thank you for listening to this episode. Like I said, I have a secret project that I'm working on. You will hear more about it <laughs> as it uh, comes about. And I will see you in the next episode.